WDAY News reporter Derek Zimmerman Geyer is live at one of their shops to show us what it takes to take on winter. Derek? Dana, Kirsten, we're in downtown Fargo at Bosma Snow Removal, where their 20-man crew actually just moments ago went out to salt sidewalks and driveways with their 18 pieces of equipment for the snow moving in tonight. They don't know when they'll start plowing tonight, but this year, business is back in a big way for them. And tonight is just another notch in their nocturnal schedule. There is no normal in snow removal, so... All right, all right. Howdy, howdy, and good evening, everyone. Welcome to Hi Ho Bar and Grill for episode five yeah. of Hey Coach, Missouri Western Coaches Show here in downtown St. Joseph, Missouri. I am Director of Athletic Communications, Derek Zimmerman Geyer, joined by the voice of the Griffins, Tommy Rezach. Ooh. Tommy, what Hello. a stacked and packed week we just had here in St. Joseph. Five home events, and mm -hmm. today's busy enough as it is. <laughs> a lot going on here in Griffin Nation, but Tommy, it was a great week in it, Griffin Nation. It really was. They do a great job um, of that, and let's knock on some wood so we don't get blocked this week. Jinx. <laughs> I want to keep talking about the freshmen. We, we talk about uh, Taylor Russell and Holly Helt, who along with Danny Moya, uh, the three of them, top 20 in the, MI, in the MIAA and kills. That's the best representation in the conference, by the way, for our hitters. But I want to talk about uh, freshman libero Anna Weberg, who is now second in the conference of 214 mm -hmm. digs. What has her presence done for this team? Yeah, Anna's presence is, is very calm and collected. Welcome back to High Hope Bar and Grill, downtown St. Joseph, Missouri, for our head coach, Derek Zimmer McGuire, voice of the Griffs, Tommy Rezach, and now joined by first year assistant coach, Sandra Abston, straight from Sweden, North yep. Dakota State, and Fargo, UMKC, <laughs> you name it, in the MIAA and back in the MIAA. Coach, yep. welcome to the program. Thank you so much. Thank you for having me. Welcome back to Hey Coach here at Hi Ho Bar and Grill. I'm Derek Zmermagayer, Tommy Rezach, now joined by head coach of Griffin Soccer, Jacob Plucker, in his first season, his first home win at Sprant Stadium this weekend, and his first win in the MIAA. Tough one on Friday versus yeah. number 12 UCM, but you guys bounce back in a big way versus Missouri Southern. And I know it's going to feel good to start off conference play 1 0 with 2 0 win over Southern. That game, Coach, was uh, a little chippy, to say the least. Both matches were. Yeah. Evans dug it out. Her and the Carp. Johnson, nice dig. Weberg, volley. Set up for Taylor Russell. Griff's not dead yet. 24-21, Taylor Russell, a new career high. 17 kills for that fantastic freshman out of Topeka, Kansas, the old stomping grounds of Jessica Fye. She knows how to recruit them. Help to tap her over, and what a round we've got going here. Far side, a teardrop, another dig, another pancake from Weberg. Johnson gets it across. McMullen tries the hand on the near side again from Headland, picked up by the Griffs. Loy, attack, back row dig from Stevenson. Back set to Limbach to Brody. Weberg sets it up for Taylor Russell, who's got 21 kills. Taylor Russell cannot be tamed. Six to nothing, Missouri Western. Brown now directing traffic. Guarded by Juleson. It gets a screen from Quick. Drives inside. Now back. Oh, what a move. Puts it in. Absolute money for two by Tucker Brown. He's got 20 points, and he is public enemy number one tonight. Kevin McKinnon puts two up on your Patriot Field scoreboard. Six for pass leads 2 0, 648 first quarter. Here's the top of the line three from the top of the key. Casey Werner puts it in for the tray. Kendrick leads 5 to 2 with Smith now spinning inside in the traffic. Kevin in a foul! <laughs> and Conte Smith pumped and looking to pump up the scoreboard here at Ed Weary Arena. She goes for the three point play. Werner now flies it up. Now to Desheer, hands it off. Desheer now left corner, McClellan. She's guarded by Holzer, gets the screen from Abigail. Now drives inside, left side. She is denied! Get that out of here! And Conte Smith again with the block. Oh my goodness! Back to Central Cast. Richter running the floor. They cut the Smith left wing. She will pull up. She goes lead, top of the key, three. Bang! <laughs> Tipped away by Fryer and Johnson. Turnover Central Cast for fifth of the fourth. Now they can take the lead. Kendrick Cam for the first time since the second quarter. Fryer drives inside, puts up a 13 foot jumper. Off the rim and in. Kendrick lead. Tina Fryer, six points. And it's 43 42. Kendrick up with 125 with the play. McKinnon now goes to Lee right wing. Lee drives inside against Fryer in the paint. Now to Holzer, left corner three. Bang! Bang! Oh! Riley Holzer! It's 
like finding reverse Where's Waldo right now of Joseph Stets. It's all <laughs> red and white on the floor here at Ed Weary Arena. Northern State, they're 0 for 25 from downtown. They haven't needed it yet. At some point, you got to wonder when that may come back to bite them. Nonetheless, a one-point game. 73-72, 19 seconds to go. Here we go. Inbound coming. Glover from Thames. He's raced down. No, no foul. Saxon gets it. No foul yet. Thames is going to drive inside and finishes inside. Western back up by three. 12.2 to go. Jerron Thames back-to-back -back nights with 18 points to lead the Griffs. And Northern State has got to turn it up another notch. Down by three. Here is Dilling. He loses the ball. Al Timoni. Five seconds left. Dilling has got to pull up at some point. Right wing three. No good. Northern State, number 21 in the nation, is knocked off. Missouri Western wins 75-72. And they send the Wolfpack packing. Well, it comes to this, a fifth and a final set between number 25, Washburn, and Griffin Volleyball here at the MWC Fieldhouse. Griffin Volleyball, fourth in the MIAA, Washburn fifth. If Griffin Volleyball wins tonight, if the Griffs win tonight, it's very likely they crack the top 25 AVCA poll for the first time this season after sweeping Northwest Missouri State on Tuesday. A team that was receiving votes in that poll, and this would be a season sweep over the Ichabods, but we're not out of the woods yet. Ashley Wicker has, well, in your first broadcast, it wouldn't end in any other way, huh? Right, and and it just goes a, a test one to how strong our conference is, and you know, there's a little bit of there's a little bit of backstory to this rivalry. So um, Washburn isn't just going to give it to us. Um, we're going to have to fight for it, and fifth sets are fun. So let's do it. <laughs> that backstory: Head coach Jessica Fye, second year coach for the Griffs. An All-American for 22-year head coach Chris Heron at Washburn. Coach Fye, an alum from 2013. And now we are away in the fifth and final set as the Griffs started off with Taylor Russell running rampant, her 18th kill. Taylor Russell from the outside pin as well. We haven't seen that all match. I don't know if I've seen that at home um, this year too, or at least Nessa giving it to her. That was a great swing from the outside. That was beautiful, and the Griff's up one to nothing early. For Taylor, that's actually her 19th. Oh my gosh. Holly Helt, seven kills of her own. And now four aces for Holly Helt. One, two, three, four for Double H. And it's a 2-0 lead. Freshman setting the tone once again. Mm. And then some. Look at this from Taylor. Hitting 333 as well. Here's, here is Holly back over, Roddinghouse, McMullen, big swing, bigger block, Lily Carson, no, 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 we ain't having none of that, Lily, three nothing Griffs. Lily has been so quiet, but coming up so big at big time. Lily tonight, those blocks start piling up, she's got two now, she's fourth in the MIAA coming into this weekend. Held across, 3-0 run for the Griffs. Big swing, another big block, back-to-back -back blocks for Lily Kurz. Someone stop that woman. 